this is why at the moment I do not recommend building a rental property. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Chris Asika. Please do well to subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up. At the moment, I do not recommend building a rental property. Why? Because it is no longer as profitable as it used to be before. Now, get me very clearly. If you want to build a rental property for other purpose, maybe for the purpose of getting passive income, for the purpose of getting rental income, it is okay. But if you are building rental income for the purpose of making profit, have it at the back of your mind that it is no longer as profitable as it used to be before, especially if you are in Portacourt. Because the analysis I'm going to be giving in this video is applicable, especially if you are in Portacourt. In Portacourt, the same house you built as a 2017 with 50 million Naira, you cannot build that same house with 100 million Naira as I speak to you. Now in this video, I'm going to be listing some building materials that are used in building houses. I'm, I'm going to be comparing the prices as the, the prices as a 2017 and the prices as it is right now between 2017 and 2023 the price of building materials some of them doubled some tripled why other quadruple but the question every investor that want to build a rental property should be asking himself is is the price of rent increasing in the same proportion because if building materials are increasing every day and the price of rent in a particular location like in portacourt is not increasing in the same proportion that is to say that the profit margin of rental properties is going down on a daily basis now i'm going to be listing some major building materials that is used in building a house i'm going to be listing the prices as it was in 2017 and the prices as it was right now in 2023 in 2017 a trip of sand double lazo five pocket was selling between the range of it was selling for 27,000. Then from 27, the price increased to 30,000 in 2017. But right now, as I speak to you in 2023, the same quantity of sand, double also five bucket, is selling for 100,000 naira. That is more than three times the price as of 2017. Now, in 2017, a bag of cement was selling for 1718 one eight as a 2017 now in 2023 right now in potato the bag of cement is selling between 4600 to 4700 that is about three times the price as it was in 2017 in 2017 a with 230,000 naira you can get 30 tons of chipping but right now as i speak to you in 2023 to get that same 30 tons of chipping, just keep your 700,000 naira, keep it one side. That is about three times the price as it was in 2017. Now let's go over to block. In 2017, in 2017 we were selling block. We were selling nine inches block for 150, 170. That is vibrated nine inches block within the range of 150, 160 in 2017. Right now, as I speak to you, that same vibrated 9 inches block, we are selling it for 320 naira, or we are selling it for 300, 320 naira for one. Then, 6 inches block, we were selling 6 inches block as a 2017 for 120 naira. Now, 6 inches block, we are sell between the range of 250 naira to 260 naira. Now, this material, sun smith chipping blocks these are the major materials that we use in building a house and the price of these materials in from 2017 to 2023 have done over three times the price as it was in 2017. now apart from this item that i have just mentioned there are other materials that is used in building a house that have also appreciated in their own way but what every investor should be asking themselves is is the price of rent is it also increasing in the same proportion that is to tell you that the profit margin of a rental property have reduced drastically over the past five years that is why i personally do not encourage people to start building a rental property as at the moment that is my own personal reason now let's leave the building material and let's talk about the price of rent 
it is very difficult in fact i have never seen if you have seen you can just you can tell me in the comment section i've never seen a situation whereby the price of rent in a period of five years in a period of five years like maybe a one bedroom flat that is renting for like let's say five hundred thousand and in a period of five years the price increased to one million i have not seen that in port Harcourt. i know it can be possible in other parts of nigeria like Lagos. that might be possible but in port Harcourt, i have never seen such a thing but then you will see the price of building material that is using building the same property three plane or quarry plane in a period of five years so that is to tell you that the profit is no longer as it used to be the profit there is a huge gap in the profit margin am i in any way trying to discourage you from building a rental apartment am i in any way trying to discourage you from developing your property no not at all the information i'm just trying to pass in this video is that the profits as it used to be in the past is no longer as it is right now in the past if you take 15 million now to build a rental property in 10 to 15 years time you must have recovered your money through rental income but right now that things have appreciated the same house you built with 15 million now you build it with 100 million now and right now it will take you even 20 to 25 years to recover your money through rental income so the bottom line is that rental properties is not as profitable as it used to be but then if you must earn rental income if you really want to earn rental income maybe you are at your retirement age and you want something that will be sustaining you instead of building a property from the scratch i suggest that it is better you go and buy an already built property because the truth of the matter is this the same property that is in the market for 50 million naira if you are giving 100 million naira to build the same property you will not be able to finish that property with 100 million naira so it is better to build a to buy a property that have already been built i'm not saying that you should go and buy an old property you buy a property that is still in shape you take your engineer they do a structural integrity test on the property and if the property is okay you buy it you renovate it and you are good to go if you are getting value from this video, please do well to subscribe to our channel, click on the bell notification so you will be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up and expect loads of value loaded content from this channel till I come your way next time my name is Chris Aseka.